Hey commissioning team, welcome to commissioningandstartup.com. My name is Paul Turner and I help people and projects succeed at commissioning. Part 1. Commissioning team roles and responsibilities. There are several types of electrical drawings that you will need for commissioning. Single line diagrams or one line diagrams. Electrical commissioning plan. This is a high level document that defines how the electrical subsystems will be integrated into the project. The PCP defines what each subsystem is comprised of, how they will be received from the construction team, and the sequence of how each subsystem will be received. The commissioning sequence is important to all project stakeholders since it determines the construction priorities and therefore the design priorities. Therefore, the right meetings are very important during commissioning. It is important that safety procedures are developed in advance of on-site commissioning activities. The deficiency tracking process is an important part of commissioning and this process should be established early in the project during the construction phase. Some forms of commissioning are fairly detailed and specific and may require special tools for commissioning the equipment in the field. Testing starts as early as the procurement phase of the project. When vendors are manufacturing the specified equipment, they will be conducting testing to verify that equipment meets the specifications prior to leaving the factory. Mechanical completion is the point in the project when installation is complete and subsystems are handed over from the construction team to the commissioning team. Once a subsystem has been formally handed over from the construction team to the commissioning team as part of mechanical completion, it is time to start pre-commissioning. Please refer to the lessons included in this module for details of several electrical systems. These can be used to help you create commissioning procedures specific to your project. When you encounter an issue during commissioning, it may be necessary to prepare a formal root cause analysis. Electrical startup is the phase of commissioning where the electrical systems function for the intended purpose for the first time. Documentation must be organized and complete in order for the operations team to be able to find the information they need. Once the project is placed in service and the provisional acceptance certificate is issued, the warranty phase of the project begins. Gas insulated switchgear performs the same function as air insulated switchyards with a much more compact design. This is an example of two 35 MVA hydraulic generators that produce power at 11 kilovolts. The startup plan included with this lesson outlines the steps to take for startup of wind turbine and generators and the parameters to measure at each step. 